mass relationships in chemical reactions. So here's the problem. Elemental phosphorus can be prepared from calcium phosphate via the overall reaction 2Ca3 PO4 quantity 2 plus 6 SiO2 plus 10 C yields 6 Ca SiO3 plus P4 plus 10 CO. Calculate the minimum mass of Ca3 PO4 2 required to produce 69.8 grams of P4. What mass of Ca SiO3 is generated as a byproduct? So for this problem, we need to determine the minimum mass of Ca3 PO4 2 required to produce 69.8 grams of P4. So how do we go about this? Well, the only real value we know is that we have to produce this amount. So the minimum amount that's required to produce this must be, uh, we must be able to convert the product here, P4, into the reactant through stoichiometric uh, principles in order to find out exactly how much um, mass of Ca3PO4 2 is required. So let's start. So we begin by, uh, by putting down our value of what we, our desired product. So 69.8 grams of P4. So let's turn this naturally. We usually start um, by eliminating grams and putting things into moles so we can convert into different uh, different types of chemical compounds and such. So uh, one mole of P4 is equal to 128.8952 grams of P4. So uh, the grams will cancel and we'll get moles of P4. And we'll continue by converting this into this product into the reactant to see how much uh, to see how much will be uh, needed to produce the vol uh, the mass of the product required. So in order to do this, we look at the uh, coefficients in the uh, chemical equation uh, for the reaction above. And we recognize that for, uh, here the coefficient's 1 for P4, so for 1 mole of P4, we require, based on the coefficients, 2 moles Ca3 PO4 2. So now we're into moles of this, however we need uh, the minimum mass, and this, the unit for mass is grams, so then we must turn, uh, uh, convert, rather, moles of Ca3 PO4 2 into uh, 1 mole into the grams of this, so uh, 1 mole of Ca3 PO4 2 is 310.1782 grams. What we find is we get 349.4 grams CA3 PO4 2 required required to produce 69.8 grams of P4. So we have the mass of the product we want. We convert this mass into moles, convert the moles of product into moles reactant, the moles reactant into grams reactant, because we want uh, the mass of the, the, react, the amount of re reactant needed, and that yields our final value here. So, uh, the second part is what mass of CaSiO3 is generated as a byproduct. 
So, we'll again begin with the 69.8 grams of P4. We'll then again convert it into moles of P4. So one mole of P4 is 128.8 uh, 8952 grams of P4. Moles of P4, we can uh, naturally use our uh, stoichiometric conversions using uh, the chemical formula, uh, chemical equation. So the coefficients, so for one mole of P4, we produce, for every one mole of P4, we produce six moles of CaSiO3. And we want the mass, so we must uh, convert uh, one mole of CaSiO3 into grams CaSiO3. This, uh, this compound has a mass of uh, 116.1622 grams per mole. This gives us a value of 392.6 uh, grams CaSiO3. However, uh, both of these... Let's, let's put these in terms of correct significant figures. So, the only, the only value given in the problem, which is our baseline for uh, determining the, amount, the number of significant figures, is this 69.8. So this is three significant figures. And because all of our operations are uh, multiplication and division, we have to... Uh, recognize that these uh, these two uh, functions, multiplication and division, um, yield the same rules or require the same rules for significant figures. So in this case, we uh, look at the total number of significant figures, and we find that there are three. So the uh, let's call this A and this B. So for A we can uh, round down to 349 grams CA3 PO4 2 and for B we will round up to 393 grams of CaSiO3